Hey guys, in this video we're going to go over how to get sound from a monitor without speakers. So a lot of people buy monitors and they don't realize that they may not actually have speakers. So what you do guys is go ahead and make sure that you're actually connecting them the right way. Okay, some monitors, so you, you might be connecting to the video only ports and that's only bringing in video. You need to use the video and audio port. So use a HDMI port, use a display port. Okay, these ones carry both video and audio. Make sure you have at least that out of the way. Now, what you can do, guys, is, of course, use a HDMI audio extractor. Now, these are simple devices that basically split up your HDMI cables, video and audio signals. And it gives you usable output connections for both. Okay, now this is perfect for basically those that don't have audio outputs on their monitor. So what you do, guys, is buy one of these. Okay, you can get them uh, online, for example, on Amazon. It splits that, and then now you have uh, audio outputs as well, right? And you can extract that audio and plug them with two external speakers, for example. And what you can also do, guys, okay? So if you're wondering, guys, how to install this, you just go ahead and plug it in right here to the HDMI audio extractor, and then you take uh, that, okay? You take that cable, you plug it in here, and then you can take the cable and plug this in. Take the output to your speaker. Okay, that is one way. What you can also do is, guys, go ahead and use that 3.5 millimeter output from your monitor. This is basically the auxiliary jack. Okay, so you can go ahead and take that in and use that to connect to an external speaker. What you can also do, guys, is if you have a computer that basically has an optical, you know, as a PDIF audio output connection then what you can do is actually get the best audio quality, right? And you just need to go ahead and take that, right? Go ahead and plug those in and use that for audio. And another thing, guys, you can do is use a docking station. So this is a great way, guys, if, you do, if you're using a laptop, you know, that doesn't have a 35 millimeter audio output, but you do have a connection that can go ahead and use these, uh, docks then go ahead and connect to that but the best way so far guys would be to go ahead and use these audio extractors so i hope this guide provided value to you and if it did consider smashing that like button as well as subscribing to find your solution and i'll see you in the next one